There is only one Scottish football team left in Europe this season, and it isn't who you might think it is. Before we get into who it is and how they are where they are right now within Europe, just check out what we were doing this time last year. Yes, it was around this time last year that we went to Rangers versus Dortmund and Celtic versus Bodo Glimt. I believe they were both in February last year, although Celtic went out. Rangers obviously went on to do amazingly well in the Europa League, reaching the final. We went to many of their European games in the run-up to that final, and it was a huge part of this channel's growth. So I was very sad to see Dundee United, Hearts, who is the other one, Motherwell, all go out of Europe in the smaller competitions, and then Rangers and Celtic both to finish bottom of their Champions league groups but there is one team that is left in Europe and it's Hibs youth team and today they are going to be playing Dortmund in the UEFA youth league at Easter Road and how did they get there I've got the UEFA youth league tables and stuff up in front of me right now look Rangers finished third in their group they did better than the first team did in their group. They got six points. The obviously first team got no points. Let's find Celtic. We did actually see Celtic play in this competition at Airdrie against Real Madrid. It pissed down like I've never seen it before. And the Real Madrid players actually ran off during the warm-up because of it. And um, Arbeloa, I think, was their manager. We met him that day as well. Celtic finished bottom of their group behind Shakhtar and... Leipzig. But look, as you can see, there are the winners of the round who, or the winners of the group stage, which go advance to round of 16. But then there are the teams that come second who advance to playoffs. They advance to playoffs with teams from what is known as the domestic champions path. And as you can see, look, Hibs are in a domestic champions path. Red Star Belgrade, for example, must have won the Serbian one. Ashdod would have won the Israeli. Gabala would have won the Azerbaijani Youth League, I suppose. But Hibs, yes, they beat Molda on penalties in their first round. They beat Nantes from France in the second round, which means that they get into the playoff round. For some reason, yeah, they don't get to play in the group stages. I'm not 100% sure how the Youth League works. Just trying to give you a brief rundown right now. But yes, they are in the playoffs today. And look at some of the other games that are on. MTK Budapest against Ajax. It's Panathinaikos versus Porto. Juve are playing. Shakhtar are playing. Lviv are playing. Or Ruk Lviv are playing Inter Milan. A couple of Ukrainian teams in there. And Eintracht Frankfurt are playing. But the game that we're going to today is Hibernian against European Giants Dortmund. Should be a cracker. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're new for more weird and wonderful football stories from around the world. I've commented numerous times in the past about why I love to film in Edinburgh. And there's a lot of reasons. The football clubs, the people always really really cool but nothing quite beats walking down like a just a normal residential street like this and being greeted with that like what even is this i've never seen this before i never knew it existed every time i come to edinburgh i see something new what was it last time the thing the pigeons lived in that they used to make pigeon pie out of look at that the views as well in the distance but for some reason this just exists here too there's a reason why edinburgh is known as the athens of the north And here we are behind me, Easter Road. We've been here loads of times. I still don't think we've seen Hibs actually win here. Celtic, Hearts, Rangers, maybe one or two more as well. Maybe at neutral grounds, obviously the League Cup final from last season as well. But I'm desperate to see a Hibs win. So hopefully today is the day against Dortmund. It's going to be absolutely insane to see Dortmund at Hibs this season. Given where Hibs' men's team have been this season, obviously wasn't expecting to see Hibs v Dortmund at all this year. But yes, it's the Youth League today, so I'm um, pretty happy that the Youth League throws up these weird and wonderful fixtures. Um, I saw Hibs put a tweet out saying, maybe a few hours ago now, that 7,000 tickets had been sold for tonight, which is absolutely insane considering that it is essentially a youth game. Philip, yes. Dortmund supporter as I yes, can see. Course. So did you come over to Edinburgh specifically for this game today? Yes, uh, I I'm, I'm was arrived on a Saturday. Okay. And uh, look, very busy in Edinburgh and... What do you think of the city? They are such a fine city. Yeah. Some Jews, uh, buildings are... I love it, I love it really. Yeah, really stunning, be beautiful buildings and stuff, for, aren't they? For, for real, there's so much nice and 
have a good eating here too. To of course, a bit of good food as well, oh, fish and chips. Well, I eat two fish and chips and yeah. oh, it's okay. It's okay, not, not the best, not the best. Yeah, not the best. It shows the size of club that Dortmund saw, are, that yes. you've come for a youth, uh, the, the kids are playing. Yeah, why not? Edinburgh is, is a nice tower and uh, why not? We have time and uh, this is the the A team play uh, tomorrow in Bochum and we yeah. have time and why yeah. not? Nice, also, amazing. It's come not everywhere to to uh, to Edinburgh. Only 50, 60 people came. Yeah. But 56 people is enough. I yeah, think so. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very impressive. Yeah. yeah and I what do you think the score will be? Uh, what to be? What will the score be today? Uh, score. I hope. Oh, I see the play on uh, on Sevilla on the City, and I know it. Oh, it's this very difficult game. I think so. I yeah. think. Second zero for Borussia. Introduce yourself, mate. You've been on before, yeah? Uh, yeah, my name's Josh. And you're a Hibs fan? Hi. So, how should it be today? Obviously, it's a youth game, but it's going to be quite a big crowd here, isn't it? I think it's going to be a hard game for Hibs, but I think Hibs will like, maybe get in in the last couple of minutes of the game. What do you think the score will be? 3 uh, to Hibs. Davis? Yeah. Like Stephen Davis? Uh, like Stephen Davis. I like Stephen Davis. You because like Stephen Davis? Northern Explain Island. to everybody. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Northern Ireland. So you're from Shanghai, but you studied in Northern Ireland for yeah, three yeah. years three and now years. you live in Aberdeen. Yeah. And your favourite team in Northern Ireland is? Linfield. Linfield. And yeah. your favourite team in Scotland is? Aberdeen. <laughs> Aberdeen. But you've come to Edinburgh tonight to see this game. What brings yeah. you to this game? Because Bro Brochow Dortmund. Yeah. yeah. And, and you like fans. Dortmund as well. Yeah. And what would you say to people about Chinese football? Uh, it's a long way to go. It's different from like the like a big country like a European a team or some UK team but I, I think they need to put more effort on their ch child yeah on the young players yeah, young players yeah. not to uh, uh, pay lots of money on yep. some big stars of course that's that's, that's not uh, you know not a long term yeah to do of course so, I yeah. understand and today Hibs versus Dortmund yeah you're here to see Dortmund what do you think the score will be in actually, I hope Hibs win yeah. because you know Hibs for the Scotland. Yeah, yeah, it's not 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 strong than yeah. Dortmund, right? But I think maybe Dortmund will win. Maybe a three three one. What brings you along to the game? Obviously, it's not the first team; it's the youth team. Ah, yeah. The adventure for them has been brilliant so far. I've been to all the games, so I just thought, yeah, may as well come along again. And I think they'll be good today. Cause Have the other games been at East Road as well? Aye. Yeah. And they're the last Scottish team left in Europe, so yep. do you give them much of a chance to go on and have a run? I, I think we can go far for the performances so far. We've looked good. Yep. I'm thinking that Ethan Laidwell is a player and he'll be something in the future. Nice. I think he'll grab a goal today as well. Score prediction? 2 0 Hibs. 2 0, mate. Enjoy. Ben. Ben, ben, big Hibs fan. Indeed. How does it feel that Hibs' youth team are the last Scottish team left in Europe? It feels good. It's good. It's a lot of pressure, right enough, but yeah. it certainly feels good the fact that we're the last ones left. And we were just chatting off camera. We think that today is just a one. Yeah, one leg. One leg. So I thought it was going to be two legs, penalty. like the other rounds, but no. You know, that's what I thought as well, because I know the rest of them were all two legs. So I yeah. sort of presumed that this one would have been the same. But, but it's just a one, and if it's 90 minutes and it's a draw, it goes to penalties. I hope apparently. so. I hope so. Well, from what I've heard, it does it. I don't actually think anybody clue. knows. We haven't got a clue well, what the rules are. I'm hoping it goes straight to penalties. And um, are you confident then that Hibs will go through? Yes, very confident. It's always so dark around Easter Road. I can never find any like light in to um, to be able to chat to you guys. But what a few interesting characters we spoke to there. Philip the Dortmund fan and uh, Davis as well from China who's been studying in Northern Ireland for years and then in Aberdeen now as well. He told me off camera he's a season ticket holder at Pitodri. How amazing is that? All the way from China to being a season ticket holder at Pitodri. But yeah, really excited for this one. Some good characters here at this game today. Hope for a good atmosphere. Next time I see you, we'll be inside Easter Road. Look at that, how weird is this, look. 
the singing section behind that goal, which is rare for him. They're usually in the corner of this stand all the way down there. We've got the Dortmund fans over there. Fair play for them for making the journey. Although that flag says Edinburgh Borussian. So I think that might be a, a Edinburgh-based Dortmund supporters club. And then look at this stand here. Look at this, an amazing turnout here. Loads of fans for this youth team game. Absolutely mad, love it. Look at this support. Just before we kick off here, a little fact about him. They were the first team from Britain to compete in the European Cup. I think it was in the 1950s, if I remember rightly. It could have been because they had floodlights. I've made a couple of videos on the history of Hibs before, so go and check them out. Um, but yeah, Chelsea declined the invitation because the FA thought that the UEFA competitions would eventually overtake the FA competitions and that there wouldn't be any more English competitions. They didn't realise they would sort of run alongside each other, which they have done now successfully for years. And now Hibs are playing against Dortmund in the UEFA Youth League. And tickets today were five pounds. Only five pounds for a ticket for a European game here in Scotland. You can't beat value like that. Come on, Hibs. behind the goal may not have just caught it on time but they were singing you're a shite Erling Haaland to the Dortmund number nine drink it in high duty it's half time here and the score is Hibernian one Borussia Dortmund nil was offside, but great save from the keeper. The biggest compliment I can pay, pay to Hibs here so far is they look like they belong playing against Dortmund. I've seen so many Scottish teams play in Europe down the years and they look like they're just trying to hang on for as long as they can, but Hibs, oh, as good as um, yeah, Dortmund have maybe been, had more possession and sort of had more attacks and stuff, I feel like Hibs really do seem like they belong here against this Dortmund side. They're excellent, this young Hibs side. haven't stopped flying all game the drum hasn't stopped going and the hips fans haven't stopped singing amazing support for the young hips team here from block seven the ultras here at hips 
7,720 odd feet work today they've just announced. Amazing spot. Eighty-nine minutes and thirty seconds gone. Oh, Hibs, it was all going so well. They've done themselves proud tonight. Dortmund have got on top in the last 20, 30 minutes. Hibs have just looked like they're hanging on. Haven't attacked much, and the pressure's told. And it's 2-1 to Dortmund. It's still going to be some added time here, so it is time to to get it back to a draw, but I feel for the high bees already do. Six minutes out of time. Go on, Hibs. Go on, Hibs. Oh! Is he just going to smash it? I feel like he's got it. This is his moment. Come on, son. Go on. Come on, Hibs, please. Oh! oh, my God. Oh, some drama at the end. But that's it. And Dortmund have won here. What a game of football. Look, I feel so sorry for the Hibs players. Stand innovation for the lads. Right, it's all kicking off down there. So it was a hard-fought game, but in the end, Hibs are out now as well, so there are no more Scottish teams left in any European competition this year. Absolutely gutted for them. I felt like if they would have gone for it a bit more, they actually probably could have won the game. If it was, When it was 1-0, they could have come out and gone for a second, or even when it was one all. Like We saw at the very end there how they pushed forward and they almost scored a late equaliser. Like if they would have been doing that earlier in the game, they could have gone 2 up, or well, like when it was one all, they could have gone 2-1 up, so... Yeah, I feel like Dortmund were there for the taking. Hibs were just as good as them in some ways, but for most of the game, Dortmund pulled ahead and probably did deserve the win in the end. But like I say, maybe it was tactically Hibs. Um, if they'd have gone for it a little bit more, they could have actually got something out of that game. I thought they were fantastic. The future is bright at Hibs if they are the kids that are coming through. Fair play to them and to them, to them lads that were playing. Message to you boys. You did the Hibs team proud that were the first ever team to play in Europe or in the European Cup from Britain. Yeah, quite a stat that, and Hibbs did really, really well today. So fair play for flying the flag for Scotland today. Just a shame the result didn't go their way, but yeah. Another vlog, another cool story I've really enjoyed today. I thought the atmosphere was great. Please do remember to leave a like. Please do subscribe if you're new. Drop your video ideas in the comments section below, and I'll try and do them when I can. Thank you very much, and goodbye.